Hey guys, it's Katie. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another release week content video. If you are just popping in here randomly, hi, my name is Katie Wismer. I'm an author and an editor and I'm putting up a video every single day this week because my fifth book came out August 24th. It's called The Marionettes. So for today's video, we're going to be talking about how much I spent to produce this book. I'm a self-published author. If you're interested in that kind of content, maybe subscribe and stick around if you're new. I put up this kind of content all the time. I'll have a link down below in my description for the last time I did this video for the book that came out before this, The Interrelationship Year, because I think I spent a pretty different amount of money on that book than I did on this one. And then I also have a tier on my Patreon page called Self-Publishing 101, where I post two bonus videos every single month all about self-publishing. I do like income reports, marketing, all that kind of stuff over there. So anyway, today we're just going to be talking about the cost of this book. I'm sorry if you can hear airplanes. I live by an airport. So yeah, this is the first book in a series. I'll follow the links down below too if you're interested in picking up the book. It's new adult, adult, urban fantasy, fantasy romance, that kind of thing. Paperbacks, ebooks, audiobook kindle unlimited that's where you can read it at least i hope the audiobook's up by the time you're watching this video i'm pre-filming this but it should be up by now if not give it a few days so i'm going to be talking about the cost to produce this book i'll give you an estimate for how much the audiobook cost i haven't paid for it yet so i'm not exactly sure how much it's going to be it depends on how long the audiobook ended up being which i don't know yet again pre-filming so i'll give you the rate that i'm doing with my narrator and everything and then i'm not going to talk about marketing costs in this video so editor cover designer audiobook production costs is what we're talking about not marketing so let's start with the biggest costs this go around like i said this is the first book in a series so i actually got covers made for the first four books in this series so i would have them i'm kind of rapidly releasing them so i just wanted them on deck so i wouldn't have to worry about them so i dropped a pretty penny on the covers this go around they were reasonably priced but still pretty expensive and then i also bought four of them <laughs> but i'm so happy with this cover i'm so i already have all four of the covers now i'm so happy with all of them so i think my cover designer did a great job and she's been awesome to work with so usually her rates if you get an ebook and a paperback of a book it's 400 dollars. but because i bought more covers at one time I got a discount so paperback ebook ended up being $380 for this cover again I'm perfectly happy with that no complaints here I did end up having to go back to her to also get the audiobook cover made because originally I wasn't sure if I was seeing the audiobook so I did so that was an extra $50 for the audiobook so then with the covers because I got all four of them with the discount and not including audiobook covers just the ebooks and the paperbacks for all of them I ended up spending $1,520 up front to get all of the covers at once so that was a lot to invest into a series that has not even had the first book come out yet and I have no proof of concept and I have no idea if people are gonna like the series. That was risky for me to get all of the covers up front. Also cover trends change and all that kind of stuff. So um, that was a bold move of me this time to get all of the covers at once, but I don't regret it. I love them all so much and release has been going well with the book so far. So that's been a little bit of a relief, but I have never dropped $1,500 on covers up front before. So that was, that was a lot. The second biggest expense for this book was my editor or rather my proofreader. I'm an editor myself. I do freelance editing. So I felt pretty confident this go around that I could copy edit this book myself. My previous books I've hired editors for and every single time they would always tell me like this is the cleanest book I've ever seen. They didn't have to change that much. I felt like I was overpaying for editors and I didn't really need a copy editor. So I did it myself and then I hired a professional proofreader because I still really wanted at least one other professional to look through the book before it got published. I also have critique partners, beta readers, so this book has been through a lot of eyes. My proofreader did such an amazing job. I'm so happy that I ended up working with her. She and I are working together on book two now. She did such a great job for such a reasonable price. I believe her rate was 0 0.005 cents per word, which for proofreading, I think is completely reasonable. And the marionettes, I think was somewhere around 70,000 or 71,000 words. So all in all, the proofread ended up being $352. Again, I'm so happy with the work that she did. I love how the book turned out. Love her price. Can't complain, especially compared to how much I've paid for editors in the past and then felt like I didn't get my money's worth because they didn't have to change that much. I'm very happy with that. And then for the audiobook narrator, I wasn't actually planning on making an audiobook and then I got so much interest from people in here and people on my Patreon page who were willing to kind of help offset that cost for me. So kind of in like a um, Kickstarter kind of way, I had people pre-order the audiobooks for me basically so they just spent what they would spend on the audiobook and then when the audiobook comes available i'm gonna send the audiobook to them for free but they already paid for it so i want to say i had 27 people do that so they each sent me 20 dollars. so i think i ended up getting around 540 dollars from them minus 
PayPal fees and stuff, so somewhere around there. And then my audiobook narrator, she was willing to do a royalty share with me. She's gonna be doing all of the books in the series with me and she was super excited about the series. Like her enthusiasm is honestly what got her the job because I loved that she loved the book as much as I do. So she basically just gave me her rate to offset her production costs because she has someone else proof it and someone else master it for her. So basically I paid for the production but she didn't really get paid so she's gonna be splitting the royalties with me on the audiobook. So to offset her production cost it ended up being $75 per finished hour. I have a whole video on audiobooks and like making audiobooks as an indie author and stuff if you're interested in how all that works I won't get into all of the little details here but for $75 per finished hour that's why I say I don't know exactly how much it costs because I don't know exactly what the finished time of the audiobook is yet I'm supposed to get it next week. The estimate that um, ACX where I make my audiobooks through gave me I think was seven and a half hours so if the audiobook is seven and a half hours long like they estimated based on the word count for that $75 an hour rate it would be $562 and like I said we ended up raising like $540 so honestly I only spent like $20 on the audiobook so huge shout out to everybody who pre-ordered the audiobook and I also spent money on the audiobook cover but that made it so much more feasible for me to produce the audiobook right away at first I was just like there is no way I can put this much money into the audiobook on top of getting all of the covers at once and all of the other costs and stuff This is so much money up front for a series that hasn't even proven itself yet So huge shout out to everybody who was like no we want the audiobook Because it literally would not have happened without you. So thank you. I hope you love the narrator I've been really enjoying listening to the samples that she sent over to me. I think it sounds great I think you're gonna love it. So yeah, those are our main costs the cover the proofreader the audiobook narrator and then the audiobook cover all together that brings us to $1,344.50 and then obviously that's not including the people who pre-ordered the audiobook if we offset that cost that means I spent up front $804.50 which for this book that is so reasonable <laughs> I don't think I've ever spent under a thousand dollars to publish a book except for my poetry collections so I'm thrilled with that number I don't think that's what it's gonna look like for book two because book two is so much longer. That's the thing though, when you publish short books, the editor or proofreader is cheaper because they go by the word. The audiobook is cheaper because it takes less time for the narrator to make the book. So for a book that was like 70,000 words or something, it was a lot cheaper to publish because it's shorter. I haven't finished book two yet. I'm in the middle of editing it, but it's looking like that one's gonna be closer to 80 or 90,000 words. So I'm definitely expecting the proofreader and then the audiobook to be more expensive. But then on the flip side, these books are in Kindle Unlimited and you get paid per page read. So the longer your book is, if someone reads it all the way through, the more you get paid. So kind of balances out. We'll see. Like I said, if you're interested in how much I spent on the anti-relationship year, I think that's the video that's here on YouTube. I'll have that link down below. I've also talked about how much I spent on my other books over on Patreon and I'll leave the playlist down below if you want to see the other really sweet content. I have like a behind the scenes vlog from the past however many months of everything I've done leading up to publication for this book. I've got a Q&A, playlist video, all that kind of stuff. And if you want to pick up a copy of the book, I would appreciate it so much. I'll have all of the links down below. I'm so freaking excited for this book to be out there. Obviously, I'm proud of all of my work, but dare I say this one's my best one. I think. I'm the most proud of it. I'm so excited for you guys to read it. Thank you so much everybody who already has who jumped on it like immediately. That was amazing to see. If you have any questions feel free to let me know down below in the comments. And yeah if you're interested in the marketing costs and everything I've done marketing wise for this book I think that video will be up on my Patreon page pretty soon. I'm trying to think if I'm missing anything if I spent anything else on this book. I mean I paid to get the proof copies sent to me. So I got one from Amazon and I got one from Ingram Spark. I think ended up costing me like $20 for both of them for, with shipping included. Amazon is cheaper to order from than Ingram Spark. But yeah, hopefully this was interesting. Thanks so much for watching. I don't think this is the last release day video. So I think I'll see you guys again tomorrow with a new one. Maybe give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. All the stuff linked down below. See you guys tomorrow. Bye. No.